Aren't you Larry? You're not Larry. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Ah! Farah, we've got to do something. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Uh, what do we do now? Just have to do this, then this. Need a hand, Leo? Thanks, Katie. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. Huh? Um, are you okay? I'm just trying out my new fishing rod. What's up? Well, I found a strange-looking cat, but there's no information about it in my handbook. Here's a photo of it. Do you know what it is? Whoa, look at those ears. I've never seen a cat like that. Me too. Now let's see what we've got here. It seems the cat is a caracal. Caracals have a bunch of long black fur at the tips of their ears. In fact, the name caracal is from a Turkish word, karakula, which means black ear. Caracals usually live on their own and find their own food when they're about a year old. Aw, were you out looking for food? Huh? I'm not sure if Larry can take care of himself. Larry? I named him. Larry is definitely not ready to live on his own. I know. We can teach Larry all the tricks a caracal has to know. He'll be able to take care of himself in no time. That's a great idea, Leo. We'll be right over, Farah. Ranger out. Ranger out. Who's the clever cat? Oh, hi guys. Thanks for coming over so quickly. No problem, Farah. So this is Larry? Yep, say hi to my friends, Larry. <coughs> Don't be scared, Larry. They're here to help. Hi, Larry. We're gonna teach you everything a caracal should know. <coughs> now, where do we start? According to my handbook... <gasps> ah, my notes! Wow, how did he do that? He's so fast. Look at him go. Got it. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hi there, Junior Rangers. Here you go, Farah. What are you Rangers up to today? We're trying to teach Larry to live on his own. I see. Well, a caracal has many tricks up its paws to survive in the wild. Caracals are very agile. They can jump really high, up to three meters in the air and they can also run very fast. Scientists believe that the black tufts on their ears have a few functions. One of them is to help caracals blend into their surroundings. Along with the color of their fur, the black ear tufts help caracals hide better. I'm sure Larry is in good hands. All right, Junior Rangers, I have to go now. Good luck. Bye, Ranger, Bye, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. All right, Larry. Now we're going to teach you to run really fast. <coughs> Ready, Rangers? Let's go. Here, Larry. That's right. Catch the toy, Larry. <coughs> Faster. You can do it. He's gaining on us, Leo. What? No way. <gasps> Leo, watch out. <gasps> <gasps> was close. Whoa! He caught it. Nice work, Larry. Here we go. Okay, Larry, jump. Higher. You can do it. Come on, give it all you've got. Go, Larry. He did it. Ah! Oh, are you okay? Never better. Just hanging around. <laughs> We're almost there. Now we just need to teach him how to hide. And I know the perfect way. Three, two, one. Ready or not, Larry, here we come. Larry, where are you? Wow, he's pretty good at hiding. Not that good. Gotcha, Larry. You're not Larry. Nice kitty. Good kitty. Ah! 
Farah, we've got to do something. Hero, quick, use your camera to distract the caracal. <laughs> we've got its attention now. Whew! Thanks, guys. Oh, no! The caracal! Let go of the camera! <laughs> Watch out! Let go! Oh, no! Larry! <gasps> huh? She's grooming Larry! <gasps> I think that's his mother! I guess Larry isn't ready to live on his own yet. Now that they're reunited, she can teach him everything he needs to know. Larry doesn't need us anymore. I guess so. Let's go, guys. Huh? Aw, Larry. I'm gonna miss you, too. You be good and listen to your mama now. Don't forget to practice your jumping. Something is coming. Huh? What's coming? <gasps> it is here. <gasps> Sandstorm! Everybody, get into Platypus One. Katie, activate the window shield. Wait, where's Hero? <gasps> Hero! I'll find him. Hurry, get inside. Got it. Okay? Yep. We sure are. I'm glad we got out of that sandstorm in time. You okay, Hero? You scared us. <laughs> huh? huh? That's not Hero. Oh, no. I grabbed the wrong animal. I'm so sorry, but what are you? And what's with those enormous ears? Over here. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. Can you find out more? Sure, Leo. That is a fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest fox in the world. And it lives in the desert. But Hero isn't, and he's out there alone. Sandstorm or not, we've got to go back for him. Let's go! What are you waiting for, Jane? Come on! <sighs> we are too late. <gasps> Uh-oh. How are we going to get out now? We are trapped. This cave goes on forever. Maybe there's another exit. <sighs> but I can barely see ahead. It's too dark. Just use a torchlight. <gasps> Good thinking. Who's there? Just me. Huh? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? How did you get in here, Ranger Rocky? I was caught in the sandstorm and found this cave. I entered from another entrance. Then let's head there immediately. But much like this one, it's now blocked. Oh no! Do you know how to get out of here, Ranger Rocky? We have to find Hero. Hero? Huh? Where is he? I wanted to grab Hero and escape the sandstorm, but I grabbed a fennec fox instead. Well, we can all take a lesson from your new buddy and dig our way out. Then what are we waiting for? Let's start digging! All right! Would you like a shovel, Ranger Rocky? No thanks, Katie. I'll just do it Fennec Fox style. Jane? <laughs> Same here. All right, Rangers. Let's get out of here! Ah, it feels great to be out of that cave. The sandstorm has stopped. Now let's go find Hero. I trust that you're in good hands, Junior Rangers. If anyone can help you find Hero, it's the Fennec Fox. Besides its ability to dig, 
It also has great hearing and a keen sense of smell. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. What do you say we take you back and find Hero together? We could really use your help. <laughs> Hero! Hero! The Fennec Fox found something. What is it? <gasps> it's Hero's backpack! Look, a burrow. Wait, come back. We need your help. Don't worry. We won't lose him. Good thinking, Katie. Where's it going? <gasps> Baby fennec foxes. So it wasn't looking for Hero after all. Hold up. We would not have found Hero without the Fennec Fox's help. Thank you. And I'm really sorry I grabbed you by mistake. <laughs> it seems Hero made new friends while we were gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Fennec, Fennec Foxes! Foxes. We are here. Wow! Where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I've sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh, it's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one. The chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long, sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh! 
everyone to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. Oh no! Let's split off. Katie and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it! Jetpack, activate! We got this. We're coming for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? <laughs> Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream, but where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue chameleon? Nope. But it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They are friends now. No more fighting. Hey, Leo. What are you looking at? Here, Katie. Want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hi, Leo. I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow! That's a lot of crabs. I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out! Ranger out! All right. Let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm, but some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey guys, glad you could make it. Hi Kyle. Hi Kyle. <laughs> Who 
<laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate. Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready. They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade! Oh no! Some of the crabs got through the hole. They're headed straight for the road. I'll fix this, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety. Carefully. There you go. Just grab onto my boomerang. OK. You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh, not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing. You did it, Katie. Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay. Phew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm going to come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, hey, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait. There it is again. I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm. That animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? 
You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the Platypus One, can. Sounds like the Platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus one, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh. Hang on, guys. Rough water's ahead. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh, no! Kyle fell in the water. Katie, take the wheel. Got it, Leo. Kyle, I'm gonna throw you a rope. Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in. Roger that. Hero, get the rope and give it to me. Kyle, quick. Grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little more. Grab my hand, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? Shoot, bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. Fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. Look, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it. We reunited the platypus family. The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever. I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pilla. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. I've got some amazing news. I discovered a unicorn. Wow, a real life unicorn? Unicorns aren't real, but it's right here in front of me. Here, I'll send you a photo. Oh, it does have a horn on its head, just like a unicorn. Hmm, there's only one way to be sure. Let's check the computer. Right behind you, Katie. 
Meanwhile, Farah, don't lose sight of that unicorn. Roger that, Leo. Ranger out! This will be the most amazing discovery. I'm not gonna lose it. <gasps> I lost it. Oh no, where did it go? Unicorn, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I've got a sinking feeling. Ah, quicksand! Whew! <gasps> oh no, more quicksand! In times like this, check the Junior Ranger handbook. Quacking, no. Quails, not quite. Where's quicksand? The unicorn! Huh? Two horns? Hmm... It's not a unicorn, it's an Arabian Oryx! Oh! It has two horns, not one! That's right, Leo! We simply have to look at it from a different angle. The Arabian Oryx was almost extinct, but it was saved in captivity and brought back into the wild. Its long, straight horns can grow to about 70 centimeters long. They use their horns to protect themselves and defend their homes. We should tell Farah it's not a unicorn. You want me to hold your horns? All right. Ah! Oof. Thank you, two-horned unicorn. Now, where's my... My handbook! No! Wait! My book! <gasps> my dirt bike! My book! My dirt bike! Leo, it's an emergency! I need help! What's wrong, Farah? Are you okay? I'm okay, but my dirt bike is not! It's stuck in quicksand! Quicksand? We'll be right over to help you get it out, Farah. Ranger, out! Let's go, Katie. Farah is trapped in the desert. My dirt bike! I thought I'd lost you. Thank you so much. No problem, Farah. Now I have to go get my handbook back. Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horn unicorn. You mean the Arabian Oryx. Oh, so that's what it is. The Arabian Oryx left with my handbook. It must be long gone by now. Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Huh? Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? An Arabian oryx travels long distances in search of food and water, but they can survive without water for many days, weeks even. It is said that an Arabian oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there! Then that must be where the Oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you! Good luck, Junior Rangers. <laughs> it's getting cold. And dark. And creepy. Ah! Did you see that? What? I don't see anything. But it was right there! There it is again! Where? There! G -g -g ghost <laughs> The ghosts aren't real. Hmm. I don't think it's a ghost either. Let's get closer to check it out. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook! Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. 
Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook. Thanks, guys. Ugh, what's that smell? And I don't mean the flowers, Katie. It's coming from over there. Hey, you. You're definitely getting closer. It's... Hero! Stay, Hero. Good boy. When was the last time Hero had a bath? I think it was... Hmm... Um... Oops. <laughs> I don't remember. Come on, Hero. It's bath time. <laughs> Hero, come back. You need a bath. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's new? Hi, Leo. I'm updating my smell collection. I've been collecting different smells of animals and plants to use as smell bombs. Wow, sounds awesome. It is. I'd like to add the smell of a red panda to my collection. We'd be glad to help. Cool beans. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hero's bath will have to wait, Katie. Kai needs our help to find red pandas for his smell collection. Red pandas? I'm sure the computer will give us more information. Red panda. Here it is. Even though they're called red pandas, they don't look anything like pandas. While well, both pandas share similar names and eat lots of bamboo, they're not closely related to each other. Does it say where we can find them? Red pandas can be found in the eastern Himalayan forests. They spend most of their time in trees. I'll tell Kai about what we found. Hi, Leo. Did you guys find anything? We sure did. Red pandas can be found in the trees of the eastern Himalayan forest, and they eat bamboo. So we'll have to search for a forest with lots of them. Great. I'll narrow down the search and send you a location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Hi, Kai. Hi, guys. This is the perfect spot to begin our search. There's bamboo everywhere. <laughs> Ew, what's that smell? A <laughs> uh, hero hasn't had a bath in a while. <laughs> well, it's a very strong smell. I've never smelled anything like it. Speaking of smells, we should really begin our search for the red pandas. Of course, red pandas. What now? Which way should we go? Do you guys hear that? Is that a red panda? <laughs> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? We're helping Kai look for red pandas so he can collect their smell. But we don't know where to start. Like skunks, red pandas release a strong smell to drive others away when they are afraid. I believe that's the stink Kai is looking for. Red pandas also use their smell to mark their territories. They leave a smell behind to inform others that the area belongs to them. Good idea, Hero. We can trace a red panda by the smell it leaves behind. I'll use my smell detection vision to find the red pandas. The smell detection vision detects the chemicals present in different animal smells. Right now, it's searching for the red pandas. Got it. Over there, guys. Bye, Ranger Rocky. The smell is strongest here. It's a red panda. Cool beans. Time to get it stink. <gasps> it's headed this way. <gasps> Oh, man! It's your new smell bomb, an earthworm. I already have that one. I just want the red panda stink. What if we tried getting closer to it? Jetpack, activate! Hey, wait for me! Hover boots, activate! It's just sleeping. How can we get it to release its stink? Ranger Rocky did mention that the red pandas release their strong smell when they're afraid. <laughs> Hero, it's not right to frighten the red panda like that. 
But do you smell that? It worked! That's the smell I'm looking for! Be careful, Kai. Yes, the red panda stink has been successfully added to my collection. Stay away! There's nothing for you in my backpack! Oh no! Katie is in trouble! What are those animals up to? No worries! The red panda stink would ward them off! One red panda smell bomb coming right up! What's going on, Kai? Where's the smell bomb? It's not shooting! I don't understand! There's nothing wrong with my smell bomb! I'll take that! Hang tight, Katie, and hold your breath. Yay, we did it! <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, Leo, now I need you to cut Leo. Oops, sorry, Katie. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. There have been sightings of the mysterious Tanuki in the Japanese forest. Tanuki? Tanuki is the Japanese name for raccoon dog. Some say that the Tanuki is a shapeshifter. Here, I'll send you a photo of it. That's just a myth, Kai. A story that isn't true. It's scientifically impossible for an animal to transform itself with magic. Which is why it would be incredible if my invention captures the impossible. I'm going to film the exact moment the Tanuki shapeshifts with my camera. Hmm. How about we look for more information about the Tanuki first? All right, Leo. I'll send the photo to my computer. Great. There it is. The Tanuki. The Tanuki, also known as the raccoon dog, isn't actually a raccoon. They may look alike, but Tanukis are more closely related to foxes, wolves, and dogs. Tanukis can climb trees and they can also swim. It didn't say it can shapeshift. But it didn't say it can't shapeshift either. Hmm. If anyone is going to prove the impossible, it's me. I have to find the Tanuki and film it shapeshift. Would you guys like to come over to help? Sure, Kai. Myth or not, we'd like to help you and find out more about the Tanuki ourselves. Cool beans! I'll share the location where the Tanuki was last seen. Meet you guys there. Ranger out! Ranger out! Whoa! Look out! Aha! Uh -huh. Show yourself, Tanuki! Ah! It's just us, Kai. That's Hero. Oops, sorry, Hero. Is this your video camera, Kai? It sure is. Meet the Chimera 1000, a state-of-the-art drone with a superior 10K Ultra HD video camera. There's nowhere a Tanuki can hide from Chimera 1000. This is my new video camera. It doesn't have a fancy name. And it doesn't have as many functions as yours. But it certainly beats my video camera. It's all cool, guys. I could use all the help I can get. Great! Kai can wait up in the trees in case the Tanuki decides to climb up. Let's get into position, Rangers! Any luck, guys? Nope. Not me! Hero found something! Camera's rolling, guys! Let's go! It's going into that log! Quick! Before it escapes! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? No way! The Tanuki turned itself into Ranger Rocky! Sorry, Junior Rangers. I'm no Tanuki. I'm just Ranger Rocky. But how do we know you're not a Tanuki that shapeshifted into Ranger Rocky? Would a Tanuki know how to talk? Well, um... Look, Kai, I think the Tanuki got away from that hole instead. Oh, man, how are we going to find it now? Tanukis can be tricky to spot. It's especially easy to mistake a Tanuki for a raccoon, but you'll never go wrong if you look out for their paw prints and tails. 
While the raccoon leaves paw prints that are similar to humans, the tanakis are more similar to foxes and dogs. Also, raccoons have striped tails, but tanakis don't. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Rocky. Huh? Where did he go? Look, it's over there. So that's a tanuki, right? Not a raccoon? There are no stripes on its tail. That's definitely a tanuki. Yes, we're coming for you. You can run, but you can't hide from the Kaimer 1000. No! Kaimer 1000! <laughs> the camera is damaged. I can't video the tanuki now. How could I be so careless? It's okay, Kai. We still have my camera, but it can't fly. Unless... Wow, Katie, your camera is just as amazing as mine. Thanks, Kai. We've got you now, Tanuki. Shapeshift. <laughs> I'm sure it's just getting warmed up. Any time now. It's been hours, Kai. I don't think it's gonna shapeshift. <laughs> Tanakis are not shapeshifters. <sighs> I guess you guys are right. So much for proving the impossible. Well, we tried. Come on, we should head home now. It's late already. Is this thing loud enough? Hero, there you are. Leo, I could hear you all the way across the garden. Really? <laughs> Oops, sorry, Katie. Huh? What do you... I forgive you! <laughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Leo, I really need your help. I lost patches. Calm down, Kai. Who's patches? <sighs> Patches is my sister's pet rabbit. I brought Patches to Rabbit Island to play. Rabbit Island? Yeah, it's an island full of rabbits. <gasps> full of rabbits? That sounds fun. It was fun until I lost Patches. I can't find her anywhere. Don't worry, Kai. The Junior Wildlife Rangers are here to help. We'll be right over. Thanks, guys. See you on Rabbit Island. Ranger out. Rabbit Island is a small island just off the coast of Japan. There are hundreds of rabbits on the island, and it is a popular tourist destination. How did so many rabbits end up on one small island? It is said that all the rabbits came from a small group of rabbits brought there by some children. Oh no! It also says that cats and dogs are not allowed on the island. Oh, dogs are not allowed? Sorry, Hero. You can't come with us this time. Look at all the rabbits. I'm in heaven. They're so cute. Can I take you home? Hi, guys. Thanks for hopping by. Anytime, Kai. My sister is going to be so mad if I don't find Patches. Do you have a picture of her? I sure do. Here. I see. Patches is a white rabbit with black patches around her eyes. But Patches is special. There's a patch of fur that's shaped like a heart near her tail. Hmm. There are loads of white rabbits with black patches here. It's going to be difficult to spot a heart. I was hoping Hero could help sniff her out. <laughs> Hero, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Aw, I can't say no to that. I guess you really want to join us. I don't know, Leo. Dogs are not allowed. Please. We need Hero's help. <sighs> Fine. But you'll have to be on your best behavior, Hero. And you'll have to wear a disguise. How about some rabbit ears? <coughs> awesome. Here, Hero. Do you smell patches anywhere? Wait for us, hero! Uh, I think 
Hero is a little distracted. No, Hero, stay. It's no wonder dogs are not allowed on the island. How are we going to look for patches now? We can simply use my x-ray vision to see what's happening underground. Great idea. What do you see, Kai? I see lots of rabbits. Let's find some food to lure the rabbits out. Or we can use a carrot smell bomb. It's going to smell like carrots everywhere. The rabbits are going to love it. One carrot smell bomb coming right up. It's working! But we're back to square one. With all the rabbits around, it's impossible to find Patches. Hmm, does Patches respond to anything special? Well, oh, oh, Patches falls asleep when my sister sings her a bedtime lullaby. So, if someone sings a lullaby and a rabbit falls asleep, we'll know that's Patches. But how are we going to sing to all the rabbits on the island? With this, of course. Great idea, Leo. We should be able to spot a sleeping rabbit from here. Ready, Kai? <clears throat> patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Huh? Something's wrong. None of the rabbits are falling asleep. Let me try. Patches, patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. Nope, no sleeping rabbit either. Are we doing something wrong? What if it has to be a girl's voice? Me? All right, for Patches. Patches, Patches, go to sleep. No more carrots, time to sleep. The rabbits are running away. Was my singing that bad? Look, there's a rabbit asleep. White rabbit, black patches around his eyes, a heart-shaped patch near his tail. Patches! It's her! It's really her! We found patches! Yes, and it's all thanks to you, Katie. That was some awesome ranger work. Thanks, Leo. And just in time, it's my sister calling to check on Patches. Can we keep today's mission a secret? <laughs> Two. Huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. <sighs> Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate, males in particular, tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Check. 
you have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Bara. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh dear, it didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Here's my painting of Hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um... <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh, no! Locally, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go... Ugh. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The Plains Zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family, and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, 
traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique. So we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm. Let's see what else we can find. Ouch! Not again! I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites. I got it! It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it! Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Oh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool. It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> Let's go, Rangers! Jetpack, Jetpack activate! activate. <laughs> what if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. <laughs> it's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match! We found the baby! Yes! <gasps> Leo, no! Oops! Stampede! Huh? Oh, no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it. Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one! We can't keep this up much longer! We need something to stop these zebras! Something to stop them? We did it! See? Told you guys it'd be a snap. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.